Welcome to part seven of the financial roadmap of college planning. Here we're going to talk about finding the money to pay for college. All families will be expected to pay something for college. So where do you find the money to do that? I help families get very efficient with the money that they already have running through their fingertips. So here's in a scenario of something we can do. So here's a family, mom and dad are 45 years old. They have two children, of course, all of which are college bound. They're looking at private and public schools. Mom and dad make $135,000 a year. They do have some savings, but they also have credit card debt. They have $16,000 of credit card debt and they have a 401k loan through work. This family does owe their own their house, but they owe about $200,000, and they do have 529 money. They have been planning to send their kids to college. So what can we do for this family? Well, just by filling out the FAFSA, we're going to see that they're going to be expected to pay about $28,000 a year per child. So what we needed to do with this family was restructure their debt. We refinanced the house, we took some equity out, and we paid off all the debt. We paid off the 401k loan, and we paid off the visa. With the new mortgage and getting rid of the credit card debt, we were able to free up their cash flow by $2,300 a month. Now, we're, remember, there is college funds in a 529, so we're going to do what's called spend down, and then college will cost about $2,500 a month. Now, this family who had no idea how they were going to pay for college now has gotten far more efficient with their cash flow, eliminated all their bad debt, and actually will have an $800 surplus each month. This is what I mean by getting cash flow efficient, making sure that every dollar that runs through your fingertips is as efficient as possible.